Miraculous Switch Stand Boy. Why eat my lucky charm? <laughs> Check out the hilarious new cat memes featuring Lady Noir. They're perfect. You're so flighty tonight, Tiki. What you got your mind on? The Kwame Nose transmission is. Okay, Moth's Kwame? Yes. He's celebrating his 3500th cycle today. All by himself. We will free him from Okay, Moth one of these days, I promise. There may just be a faster solution. Huh? <laughs> Kwamis are able to communicate with their kind on their cycle. For a birthday. But we won't get another opportunity for a long time. See? A Kwame's cycle lasts several hundreds of human years. Wow. That's amazing. Then, you could find out where he is. But, how would you do that? The Kwamis must gather in the miracle box at a specific time. When would that be? Tonight. What? Tonight? Why didn't you tell me about this sooner, Tiki? Because Master Fu doesn't want his Kwamis to leave our owner's sides. He says we have to be able to take action immediately if someone becomes acclimatized. He's right. But surely it's no big deal, I mean. If all the other Kwamis are able to meet up, then it's still gonna happen, right? Well, I'm afraid it might not work if I don't go. The more Kwamis that are present, the better chance we have of succeeding. But, if Master Fu doesn't approve... Wait, Kwagina have an idea. Well, it was mainly Plague's idea. Plague and I would go and gather with other Kwamis inside the Miracle Box. Waze would stand guard and he'd let us know right away if anyone becomes acclimatized. What do you think? That's a great idea. There is no risk if Waze is keeping a lookout. Even if we don't tell Master Fu the whole truth? If it means we're able to save Nuru and defeat OK Moth, Master Fu won't be able to hold it against you. So, you're okay with it? You let me go. Yes, I trust you, Tiki. Oh, thank you, Adrian. You don't have to worry. I won't let you down. Sweet dreams. I am exhausted. I'm off to bed. Uh, good night, Plague. Good night, sir. Where do you think you're going, Nuru? I just wanted to go out. Just for a little while. No, you know the rules. You're not allowed to be more than a few feet away from me and no communicating with anyone besides me. There are no exceptions. <laughs> but, Master, it's my birthday today. I thought... You obviously haven't grasped the rules, Nuru. We're going to have to make them even simpler. From now on you won't be able to communicate. At all. But, Master... Huh, it was a joke, Nuru. I'm not that cruel. Thank you, Master. Change of plans, Nuru. <laughs> I feel an emotion of great intensity. So pure. Fly away my little Akuma and evilize him. <laughs> hey, sugar cube. Uh, I've already told not to call me that. Do you ever hear me calling you stinky suck? No, but you should. That would be delightful, Sugar Cube. So, what lies did you tell your owner in order to sneak out tonight? Actually, I just told her the honest truth. Oh? Maybe I should try this someday, see what it's like. I hope we can get in contact with Nero. So do I. <laughs> Are you crying? Who me? Oh, of course not. Are you kidding? Come on, let's race. The last one there won't get any cheese. <laughs> hey, Waze. How's it going? Shh. You'll wake up, Master. Shh. Come on. If you manage to contact Nuru, wish him a happy 3500 cycles for me. We sure will, Waze. Hi, everybody. We're here. Flag, Tiki, you came. Oh, with you here, we'll manage to get in touch with Nuru for sure. Good day to you, noble Kwamis of creation and destruction. 
Oh, what did you bring? What did you bring? Brothers and sisters living within the walls of the Miracle Box, on this special day, I brought you some delicious cheese. Oh, I love cheese. <laughs> wow, that's so nice. Unfortunately, I had to sacrifice it on the way here to feed a poor, starving kitten. <laughs> oh, that's just so cute. What about you, Tiki? From my owner's home, I bring you this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a jewel. What a jewel. Oh, so shiny. Let the party begin. Oh! It is a good thing you are here. Your owners were wise to give you permission to come. Yes, Sass. Aiden. Your owner? Ha ha ha, you forgot about the magic spell. We can't say our owners' names to each other, remember? Yes, my owner is the best Mr. Bar guide ever served. We are also very lucky that the guardian of the miracle box agreed to it too. Well, shall we dance, Kiki? We have to properly celebrate our friend Nuru after all. Marinette. A house. Three kids and a cat. Nah, forget the cat. A hamster. Adrian. What? What? What's going on? Tiki? Are you back already? Adrian. Do you want to know my secret? What? Marinette? I'm in love with a boy and his name is Felix. What kind of a nightmare is this? The sound boy just checked in. Now nightmares can begin. What? He must be bringing nightmares to life. One day, Felix and I will have a house together and we'll have a hamster named Dadrian. Shh. Tiki, spots on. Oh, no. I forgot. It's... I've got to find Tiki. Adrian, the prettiest and smartest one of all is Felix. <laughs> the little grain of wheat goes to bed and wakes up as some lovely bread. I've always dreamed of gobbling up a baker. What? Hmm? Ah, what kind of nightmare is this? What's going on? Plague. Wake up. Plague. No. Who turned you into a sock? My friends, the time has come. Fellow Kwamis, tonight, as you know, we have a special opportunity to create a connection with Nuru. But we must put our voices together in order to achieve this. Kwamis, sing. In the name of the law. <laughs> Natalie. Father. Can anybody hear me? Adrian. I'm in love with Felix. <laughs> we will make it. Sass. We are missing a few Kwamis. We need the Peace Fowl. We've not heard from her in such a long time. Now. What if we brought Waze in? We won't have another opportunity to contact Nuru until his next birthday. Go get him. Um. I have to stand guard. But this could be our only chance of finding Nuru. Ando came off. <laughs> okay, let's go. What's the code? Tiki. Can you hear me? Tiki? The sound boy just checked in. Now nightmares can begin. Master, master, wake up. What? Huh? Adrian? Quick, master. Don't stay here. We are the 
the ghosts of the Order of the Guardians of the Miraculous. You caused our downfall and lost two Miraculous. <laughs> <laughs> It was not my fault. I did not do it on purpose. It was your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Adrian, transform. <laughs> I can't, Master. Tiki is inside the miracle box. I'm in love with a boy and his name is Felix. This is disastrous, Adrian. There's no way of communicating with the Kwamis when they are in their magic world. Help me, Father. Sandboy is turning Paris into one huge nightmare. And yet there's no sign of Mr. Bug or Lady Noir. What is going on? Arg, 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 arg. What is that? Arg. That's not Nero. It's okay, Moth. Keep singing. We must try to find out where he's hiding. Aha. It's me who's going to find you, little Kwamis. And I will make you my slaves, just like Nuru. Arg, arg, arg. Arg, 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 arg. His will is so powerful. We must cut off all communication. Okay, Moth is trying to track us down. Hey, wait. The reason we can't speak to Nuru is because he's powering Okay, Moth right now. Which means Okay, Moth's probably acclimatized someone. And since Plague and Tiki are here with us, Mr. Bug and Lady Noir aren't able to transform. Go and find your owners right away. They're making a serious mistake. I just felt the Kwamis somewhere on the right bank of the Seine. Find them. Capture them. Yes, Hawkmoth. Hey, isn't that your owner? Of course not. Flowers? Well, no way. The real one talks nonsense, but it's never this bad. Oranges, roses, and Felix. <laughs> I'd better go find him. I just hope he's not living a nightmare without me around. Adrian, it didn't work. I'm sorry, Master. We should have warned you. We'll talk about it later, Ways. Right now, we have to end this nightmare. Tiki, spots on. Yeah. Kwame in sight. That's Lady Noir's Kwame. Capture it or follow it all the way to its owner. The Sandboy just checked in. Now nightmares can begin. I already know what my nightmare is, and you'll never get me to eat dairy-free cheese. I'm your worst nightmare. Arg. You failed. Mr. Bug on Lady Noir will be here soon. You must get me there, Miraculous. Marinette, are you okay? Plague. I'm so relieved you're not a sock, but you better have a good excuse. Good to see you've managed to survive your nightmare. Quick. Plague. Claws out. What is this mess? My king, tonight's been a total nightmare. Until you showed up. This is no time for lullabies. We've got to stay focused. Look. His cloud is shaped like a pillow. I'll bet you anything that's where his Akuma is. Awesome. Then time for a pillow fight. You won't be able to fight your worst nightmare for long. He's moving around too much. And his evil sand is blowing everywhere. Lucky cow. Look 
like a dolphin that want to eat this cookies. <laughs> yes. Can I? Can I? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god! What? Wow, a giant cat. <laughs> now you can't run from me, sand boy. Meow. Hey sand boy, want to be my sandbag? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. What? <laughs> what milk did you eat? Whiskers. <laughs> Run. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Time to the evil eyes. Gotcha. Bye bye, little butterfly. Oh, Mr. Bug. I watched a movie on TV. It was kinda scary. And then I went to bed and had a really bad nightmare. I woke up and there was a black butterfly in my roommate and a weird man spoke right in my face. Okay, math. He fed of the negative emotion from a nightmare. That's what happens when you let kids watch anything they want on TV. Oh, can I leave you to take this young man back to his parents? No problem. Right, Kasna? Yay. Awesome, Mr. Bug. How do I go back to my original size? Well, you eat my lucky charm, so you have to poo poo first. What? <laughs> well, I think that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.